Hello, 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 and welcome or welcome back to Megan's math class. And I would like to show you guys a multiplication problem today. So we're going to be doing some multiplication with some decimals, which is always fun. So obviously, fun thing about multiplication is unlike subtraction or adding, it addition it doesn't really matter that much uh which one you put on top so i like to do the bigger number that's just me so i'm gonna put nine point fifty five and point eight down here and if you want it's completely up to you you can put a zero right here let's get to it and always put your sign so you know exactly what's about to go down, exactly what problem you're about to do. So, first things first, whenever you're doing multiplication, you want to start with the bottom right side. And you're going to go up and look at this one. And you're going to say, hmm, what's zero times five? Well, that's zero. And fun thing about zero is that, like, anything multiplied by it is zero. So we're just going to do... That oh sorry, bless me. Okay. So five times zero is zero. Nine times zero is of course zero. And then so you cross it out and then you add a zero and then you move on. And if there are any like uh anything up here you want to go and cross those out so that you don't get distracted by those and add them to your these later on. And it'll make more sense like if we get some. So I'll show you guys. So now we're moving on and because we're moving a place uh a placement, we're going to add a zero. That's why that zero is there. To make sure we're in the right place. So now 8 times 5 is, that is 40. So we're going to add a 0 right here. And then we're going to add a 4 right there. And then, fun, 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 8 times 5 is, hmm, I wonder, I wonder, 40 again. And, but, we got to remember to add this 4. You can't forget about that 4. You got to add that 4 right here. And then, because it's 40... 44, you gotta put that 4 up there. And then last but not least, 8 times 9 is 72. So, and then 72 plus 4 is 76. So we just gonna add that 76 right there. Oh yeah, baby. So now... What we're going to do is we're going to count how many times, like how many uh, numbers are behind the decimal, and then we're going to go up that many. So we're going to go one, two, three, four. So we're going to start over here, and we're going to go one, two, three, four. So, and that's what you do. But I did that a little early. Usually, if there was anything up here, you would add those two together so that it would bring it all the way down here. But since it was all zeros, I got a little ahead of myself. That's all right. So now we got all that and we went four, which brought us all the way over here. And that's your answer. And you can just like leave those zeros out if you want. They're, they're pretty irrelevant, not important. And your final answer is seven, Point sixty four, and you're done you did it you slayed you did another math problem congratulations y'all are gonna rock this summer i already know it i can feel it in my bones so i hope you all have an amazing day i hope this helped hope i taught you a little something maybe a couple tricks i don't know whatever whatever i can do i hope you guys have an amazing day again bye bye